Hey guys, it's Shay, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel, and if you're not new, welcome back. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the fifth volume of Honey So Sweet. So in this volume of Honey So Sweet, it mostly pretty much talks about now and Onise's relationship, and it is mainly focused around Christmas time. And it pretty much starts off with Nao and Onise's friends basically coming over to Onise's house for a Christmas party. Which to the discretion of them, they actually kind of wanted to have a little bit more alone time because they have not yet had a date by themselves. Then Nao ends up meeting Onise's mom, which was kind of interesting to see this interaction between them because we've all been in that situation where we, we've been nervous to meet our significant other's parents or parent. And it was really interesting to see this interaction between the two of them. Now as I was spending the night at Onise's place due to Onise getting a little bit drunk off of some chocolates and also so that Onise's mom ends up going off to work and she says, hey, it's too late for you to go home so now you gotta stay here. So she ends up staying there, which actually caused an issue between now and her brother So because of the fact that she didn't call to let him know where she was at. So he got extremely worried. When now finally gets home, so basically is kind of speaking to now, but it you can tell he's really upset about what pretty much has happened, and now takes this kind of hard, and this is where you get to kind of the meat of the fifth volume of this manga, and it's pretty much showing the relationship between now and her brother and how it has changed since she has started dating Onise. And I have to say, reading this part of the manga was extremely relatable for me, and that is because. I'm very close with my parents and when I started dating my fiance, basically my parents had to get used that my time was being split between spending time with them and being spent with him. And it did take some time before they got used to it. But me reading this and seeing it from kind of So's point of view and him explaining why he was really upset with now was because of the fact that they always spend Christmas together and in this first instance she didn't spend Christmas with him she was with Onise and it kind of hurt his feelings and he was also extremely jealous of now and Onise's relationship because it was taking now away from him which I kind of understood since once again I've been there but it was also interesting to hear Onise say that he also felt jealous of Nao's relationship with So and that was kind of pretty much the same reasoning that So had was the same reasoning that Onise had but what I also enjoyed about reading this entire arc between them was seeing how Nao basically kind of stood up for herself she ended up saying to her brother that she understood that something was wrong and that she needed he needed to just talk to her about it, but he wouldn't let up about it. And then also with her telling him her feelings of how she really felt and how she was just like, I know you're upset because when I came home, you didn't say welcome home. And that was kind of what put a lot of things into perspective for So. And also it was kind of grown up for Onise to go to So and basically talk to him about it. And then So was able to explain to Onise what was actually going on. And then Onise Say kind of came to the rescue and kind of basically got them to be close again and got them to apologize to each other and got them to understand where they both were coming from and it kind of solved the entire issue. That was the bulk of the entire manga, the majority of it at least. The ending part then focuses on Valentine's Day and now having to make chocolates for Onise. And uh, she's not that great of a cook, so I related to her with that because I'm not good at cooking. And she ends up making him chocolates and they also end up kind of, I think, sharing their first kiss, which was extremely sweet because it was something that she was extremely nervous about and but something that she also knew that she really wanted to do. And her friend Yashiro was pretty much the one that wanted her or kind of put the idea in her head to give him a kiss on Valentine's Day. I also have to say I'm really rooting for the couple of Yashiro and Misaki because they're so cute together and because they're just complete opposites. Misaki is like kind of a nerve, not really a nervous wreck, but kind of like all over the place. And Yashiro is very like, not cold, but she just is very stoic. So it's very cool to see their interactions with each other. I have to say overall, I really enjoyed the fifth volume of this manga, mostly because of how relatable it was to me with the relationship between So and Now and how their relationship has had some 
disruptions or is basically changing due to her now dating and her now having a boyfriend because like I said I've gone through this before and I've seen these changes happen and while these changes aren't permanent it can be kind of startling or sudden for those that are used to you being around all the time but now seeing that your attention and your time is being basically absorbed or taken away by someone else and it can kind of hurt their feelings or cause some jealousy so I enjoyed reading this and I enjoyed being able to reflect on the situation that I have had and kind of being a lot more understanding and considering what other people were possibly feeling in that moment so that's what i have for you guys that's what i thought of this manga i can't wait to read volume six which i hopefully will have a review up for you guys soon and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you enjoy my videos and want to come back for more please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and of course please subscribe if you haven't already and i will leave links down below to all my social media accounts my instagram my twitter and my blog as well so please be sure to check those out too and of course like always like i always tell you guys stay positive stay nerdy and in today's day and age Stay healthy. All right, you guys. Bye.